Okay, so I want to talk quickly about military open source software. I'll just define open source first. When I say that, I mean... Sorry. I don't use mics often. Um, probably miss this a little bit. Anyway, open source to me means liberal licensing and enables folks on innovation and collaboration. I met this joke, this crazy killer here, who wrote software in Iraq, actually open source software in Iraq to solve problems. Pretty pissed off what he saw out there. He came back speaking on what he saw. Here's some of the words he used. The bottom line is a lot of waste, which is shocking, taxpayer dollars. A lot of capabilities are not really being developed for the warfighter to help defend us. He gets even a little more deep here, coming in all, obviously there's no security risks, should be given to us. So, what do you do with this? Well, what was I going to say? All right. So, I guess the reason that's why I'm source. So, first of all, imagine you train uses software. It's really wicked software that enables you to solve problems, save your troops. Now you're ready to go to war. You're ready to fight and go go help the nation. Well, wait for it. Oh, you don't have the license. The the dongle is not with the software. Therefore, you can't use it. So, what you've been trained to use, you don't have it in front of you. So, a license is going to prevent a soldier from solving a problem. If that was my son, I'd be pretty pissed off. So, what do you do? Um, there's a lot of reasons why this happens. Obviously, capitalism is not the fault. It has to do with how our nation is enabling problem solving for the soldiers. So some more examples to kind of maybe piss you off a little more. Hey, if you're really wicked, if we put these two applications together, we can be faster at, at getting whatever intelligence we need to do the job or to save us, to keep us more effective at solving the problem of defending the nation. Well, this company's not going to enable you to take their proprietary data format, open it, to integrate it with this other system. What well, kind of sucks? So what do you do? I don't know. Another example here. This one's a little more um, depressing. Say, hey, let's go build a really great aircraft. Just, you know, hey, here's a few billion dollars to go build something for us. We want it in a year. Oh wait, you're not solving the problem. Crap. Um, give us the designs, please. We'll, we'll, we'll go take it to someone else and spend money. Oh wait, Mr. Contractor owns those designs for that aircraft. What are you going to do now? Start over? Spend another billion dollars, taxpayer dollars? Um, so this is kind of infuriating. I've been doing military software development for 10 years and see a whole lot of this kind of stuff going on. So. What's happened now? What's happening is a lot of policymakers and a lot of folks in the military are realizing the manipulation that's going forth. So they're starting to write some policy and also develop some roadmaps. Should be coming up. They start using language like open technology and open source. And this is starting to enable and educate the folks that are making decisions on how the money is being spent, so they're more effective in applying it. So using more liberal licensing to enable collaboration. So then some other crazy guys said, hey, SourceForge, that'd be awesome to do that for the military. Well, it's not really working yet, but it's a start. It's still a win. So then some crazy folks like myself, give me a second. Man, I talk fast. So someone like myself has been doing this work for a long time, so hey, let's, let's create a community so we can find each other who's writing software in this space, because I can't really Google for you. If you've solved the problem already with taxpayer dollars, I can't find you. So let's see if we can start building a community, and hey, maybe, Maybe pull together a conference where we kind of make our own DEF CON, find others around there, get some crazy trained killer to speak, um, a couple of policy folks to talk about what's happening. Maybe, you know, just wear t shirts and sandals. Make it not DOD, Department of Defense. Sit around, get nerdy for a while. Maybe we can use our nerdisms to help defend this country better, enabling, finding collaborations to where we can, instead of having to redo this software, can find someone who's already solved the problem. So, um, why am I talking tonight? Well, recently I had this in Atlanta in this space, which worked out well. I met a lot of folks actually in Atlanta that do military software. So I wonder if there's anyone here that actually does. And if so, find me if you're interested in helping to build this community. The goal, the goal is really to help spend our taxpayer dollars more effectively, as well as enabling the warfighter to defend themselves and defend us more appropriately. Um, I guess that's it, I think, yeah. So find me on Twitter, see me after this. Thank you.